Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's here to solve your problems. Today's problem comes from Haley, like the comet, who writes, Thank you for donating the Project Frost, and by the way, Haley, it's relevant to your problem, which is that, quote, I give too much to charity. I recently left an abusive relationship, and now I'm in a safe and happy place, but once I got my independence and a job, I started giving most of my money away. It was therapeutic and made me feel like I was helpful rather than being helpless, except I can't stop. What am I supposed to do to tell myself that giving to charity is a bad thing? Well, it's not a bad thing. Um, I think that, and 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 I I think that you've identified very beautifully what's causing this impulse, which is that you've been taken. You, you were in a situation where you felt helpless and powerless and scared and that has both given you i suspect a lot of empathy toward other people who are in positions of helplessness and powerlessness and in in places of of fear and vulnerability and precarity and also um you now you now really treasure the opportunity to be in a position where you can be helpful and i think that's a good thing and i and i hope you hold on to it i don't think that that's a um, I, I don't think that's something you should try to like force out of your personality. Like it's not bad news that you are empathetic. It's not bad news that you want to help people. That's good news. By the way, we're playing Middlesbrough in the um, Carabao Cup, which is a like I mean the least important trophy that we could possibly win, including the utterly meaningless trophy that we were playing for in preseason. Um, hence, I have not started either John Green. Because, I don't know if you guys know this, but we can't have any injuries. <laughs> we are, we, we have to be an injury-free team. That is the defining, the number one priority for AFC Wimbledon this season. No injuries to any John Greens. So, I, I don't, I don't know what a lot of what you're going through is like and I don't want to pretend to I, I do however know uh, um, what it's like to give or to feel an impulse to give a lot of money to charity and to give a lot of money to charity um, because when I was when I got my first job I just hit the post that's good no Soriano you should be very pleased with yourself this might be the, one of five games you start this season and you nutmegged a guy to hit the post that's great Mr. Managerino is thrilled for you I think that should I think you should use that to build on build your confidence and hopefully we're going to go on and score a goal later this game and win 1-0 so we can continue to be in this cup that means nothing. It's it's Soriano again. The guy maybe he's a future star. Mm, probably not. When I got my first job at Booklist, I was I I was making not that much money um even like by contemporary standards. I mean, it was good money for being 25 or 22. I was 22. Um, it was, but you know, it was less than $30,000 a year. And I gave most of the money that I made to, to charity because I didn't need it. I mean, honestly, um, like I give a smaller percentage. I mean, Sarah and I do try very hard to be, um, you know, to have a focus in, in, on philanthropy in our, in our lives. Um, but even though I, I make much more money now, I give a smaller percentage of my annual income to charity now than I did when I was 22. Um, and that's something I think about a lot because a lot of the things that feel to me like necessities now did not feel to me like necessities then. Um, and in fact, like they felt like ridiculous luxuries, like going out to dinner regularly seemed like why would I do that when there are you know like when there are real people with real problems and over time you know I've made a series of compromises with myself where now I I, I think that um you know it's okay for me not just to go out to dinner but also to spend money on vacations and to spend money on lots of other things that um I didn't I didn't really spend money on when I was when I was in my early 20s and you know, I, I, I think some of that is a result of having kids. Some of it is a result of other things. Um, it's something that I worry a lot about, though. And I don't have a good... If I had a good solution for it, I'd be living that solution. Um, but I do, I do really struggle with where the line should be between my own 
pleasure and enjoyment and fulfillment and, you know, fulfillment within my family, uh, you know, opportunities for my, for my kids, things like that, where the line should be between my responsibilities there and, and the broader responsibilities that I have to my community and, and to, you know, the, the, the world in general. Um, I don't think that there are easy answers there, you know, you can always give more uh and you can always do more for your family and so there's 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 a tension there that i i I don't know i don't know where the line is but i want to be conscious of the tension so that i don't um so that i keep trying to understand what what is best what is the best way forward um with 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 those questions and that's one of the reasons i found your problem so interesting is that I, I, I do think it's really complicated. However, you have to take care of yourself. And part of being, you know, part of, part of going, you know, being on the journey that you're on from being in a place of helplessness to being in a place of, you know, of real agency and, and, and having, you know, choice and, and, and choice in your life that, that, that you didn't have for a long time, it sounds like. Part of that is having the financial independence, almost, having the financial independence to be able to do the things that you want to do and to be able to take care of uh, yourself. And that means not only, I think, not only saving, like not only providing for your current needs, but it also means saving. Uh, Building up a six months emergency fund is something that people talk about all the time, but I just think is so, so important. That's something that I I didn't do in my early 20s and I did do later on. And it it increased my quality of life so much to have a six month emergency fund to know if I lose my job, it's not catastrophic. If um, if my car breaks down, it's not catastrophic. Like I'm ready for I'm ready for the not everything that life can throw at me, obviously, but I'm ready for some of the things that life can throw at me. You know, I'm not like constantly dependent upon the world working just as I need it to in order to be okay. And, well, that's not a foul, come on. So that, I I think, I I think that's something that that you can do for yourself that that is really important. Um, and, And that like, oh, well, I've given up a goal and now I'm making, now I'm bringing on John Green and we'll see if that helps. I, it, it may, he is, you know, significantly better than all of Middlesbrough combined. Come on, John Green. Just, you know what, John Green, just, you, you know what, man, I don't like to do this every time, but just go and score a goal. Okay. Just g- get three guys on you then beat all three. Oh, I got too fancy. It's my fault. It's trying to be, trying to be fancy and impressive. Trying to be better at FIFA than I am. Should have just passed. At any rate, I think doing those things to take care of yourself and to put yourself in a, in a position where you have a little bit even, you know, even more stability in your life, I think it's really, really valuable. Shoot, John Green. Show. Oh. And so I would encourage you to think about that in the way, in, in maybe the way that you're currently thinking about charity. Like, what can I do to help other people can become what can I do to what can I do to make make it so that like I'm set up if I for a six month emergency fund I'm set up so that like if things go wrong I'll be okay and I think that you know that like making making those kinds of goals instead of just being like oh I have extra money this month I don't know what to do with it I should just you know give it away I do think that it's important to I, I think it's I mean I think it's really valuable if you have you know, if you can afford to, to give money to charity, I think that there are, I I mean, I, I, especially in the United States, like the, the way the social order functions is contingent upon that on some level. And so I think it's really important. And I, and obviously like, you know, we, we try to raise a lot of money for charity. We think it's, we think it's vital. And, and we think that, um, you know, we think that charity can do a lot of good, but I also think it's really important to take care of yourself and to, you know, be, you know, be good to yourself and, and be fair to yourself and not, uh, 
yeah, not be not be too hard on yourself for wanting, you know, for wanting that stability and for wanting that, um, you know, wanting the freedom that uh, that financial security can bring to you, because yeah, it is really it's really really valuable in a human life. Like I wish it weren't. I wish it weren't as important as it is, but it's it's super important. Like it makes a lot of things easier when you don't have to worry about money. Casey Neistat made a video recently about how, you know, like when he had, uh, when he didn't have money, he had a lot of problems that could be solved by money. And now that he did have money, he still had a lot of problems, but they were all problems that can't be solved by money. And I thought, I thought that was a really interesting way of looking at it. Um, I, I, I just think the value of having a six month emergency fund, the value of saving for being able to save for retirement, that kind of thing is so huge. And obviously not everyone can do it. You know, obviously it's really, really difficult to, to do this. It involves, you know, careful budgeting. And I was so bad at that stuff. And when I was, when I started out in my professional life and, you know, I, I only got, I only got good at it because it became so stressful. <laughs> like the, you know, not having money became such a like, um, became yeah it just became really really stressful for me um and also feeling like i was really bad at for lack of a term better term bad at money became really stressful for me um so i would encourage you to to think about all of that but thank you for donating to the project for awesome i hope that you could afford it and i feel bad if you couldn't we hit the post we didn't score middlesbrough won it doesn't matter this competition is fake thanks for watching best wishes